Ja, så kan det Good evening everyone and welcome to another EU1 race tonight. We are at the beautiful circuit of Spa Francorchamps and uh, yeah, we're ready to go in Belgium. Obviously my home track and tonight I have a co-commentator with me and it's no more uh, no one uh, less than not rapid. I'm the best, of course. The yes, best yes. of the best. We're gonna give you some awesome commentary today, <laughs> tonight, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. That's it. Well, that's what it matter. That's what matters the most, huh? Mm -hmm. Having fun. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. So, who shall we watch? I think. The other Red Bull of Kirti Mali will be the first one to finish a lap. So let's just take a look at his lap as he's now going to start his lap right here in a second and opens the DRS, crosses the start finish line and starts his lap uh, right now as we go up to La Source. Takes it, very tight corner, go wide on the entry and exit, very close to the wall on the middle of the corner then down to Eau Rouge and then up the hill of Radion on to the camel straight one straight line DRS zone Ooh. to a chicane that follows being Le Cold as he breaks for it takes it takes a little bit of curb takes a lot more curb on the left one and there he goes stays in fifth gear now down to Bruxelles very long right hander then speaker's corner or a corner without a name whatever you want to call it Ooh, he takes a very yeah. awesome line yeah he takes a very strange line that i've never seen before there but then now pull on and then through the fifth path chicane that's one that's two very easy to spin here if you take a lot of curb on the inside on the second corner down to stavlo and campus oh and he got a massive slide i think so uh, look I like it he, yeah and it then messed up his lap his anchor well he's it's still on down. pole because yeah. he's the first one to sit a lap so and he is pretty fast as he rounds up blanchiment to go through the bus stop to finish the lap there he goes right left a uh, little bit more of the drs 1426 That's a nice That's set. actually definitely that that that's a good lap. Definitely. Uh, managed to beat oh, there he the is. Time by I was only was one tenth. And there's a Ferrari coming by. It's Jamie. Then also coming up to the bus stop, then brakes at the 50 meter board or the 100 meter board, not sure. And crosses the line for pole with a 42 2. And there's a McLaren in the back, that's Rosa. As he does not set a lap, he must be validated. So does Ita Kuki. The Fruitful, fruitful. Has managed to get a better time. And 42-1. I think it's gonna go in maybe the the 140s, the, the high 140s. EVG Donny, fifth place, 43-7, also on the softs. So he's quite some time behind. Seabux takes third with a 42-4. Then we have a Haas of RT Tom, 42-9. Uh, am I missing something else? I'm seeing some other cars cross the line. Um, Blade is crossing the line right now, and it's gonna be a 142.4. Well that's done. gonna be a P3 for now. As Blade set the eighth time of the lobby. Um, I think that's a Williams. Says that's before the starting his lap. Molly's coming in. Um, 
Who should I look at? Okay, I'm seeing a car. Oh, that's Raquel and Jamie, I think. See this Donny. Um, I'm seeing McLaren going through Blanchemont. Eat the cookie invalidated. Rosa Sky invalidated. Validated as well. <laughs> Not looking well. good for both McLarens as uh, Don Amo is also making his way up to the bus stop chicane. McLaren pulls to the side to let him through, then right, then left. Very tight corner sequence. The track will be updated next year when he puts his car into P8. Matty goes into Blanchement. I think. Let me guess, it's gonna be a one, a high 142. Into the bust of chicane, takes it really nice. No wheel spin here, no slides, and it's gonna be a 43 free. Jesus. Well, he hasn't even made it into the 42s like you <laughs> predicted. <laughs> Oops. Profoda Zen, really nice. next to cross the line. To actually set a lap comes through Blanchemont now down to the bus of Chicane. And there we go, brakes. You have to break very early this uh, corner, it's not that fast. It's a very big braking zone, and 11th it is 43 7. Then we have the Mercedes of Wacky Races, by the way, we do have a full lobby once again. I think it is the uh, 100 meter board where they break as uh, Wacky Races pulls into the pit, so he's not gonna set a lap. McLaren's have dived in. Uh, Danham has invalidated. Conzo has not invalidated yet, and he's going through Bruxelles now, coming down to the corner without a name, and then going down to Puon. And I don't think we're gonna see anyone take the same line that Mali uh, took at the beginning of qualifying. Uh. Yeah, it takes a lot of skill to like actually get that line. I tried it a few times because I saw some e-spotters do it, mm -hmm. but uh, it, you have to be really precise to. Like not invalidate and mm -hmm. not get on the crash as well. So yeah, I, uh, I can imagine as uh, Konzo has invalidated in the meantime. Um, I can imagine it's a very hard line to take. Uh, one small hiccup and uh, I guess your yeah. whole lap is gone. Um, you have to have at least a, there is some skill needed from for that move. Yeah. A lot of people in the outlaps um, and some people in the inlaps, of course. Don't think we're gonna get to see much as a uh, blade is out of fuel and still spins his car around. How in <laughs> how do you manage to do that? Like, explain to me how you manage to do that. And uh, let's look at Mali for another full lap, actually, as he's the first one of the guys on the outlap to. Start on one, and we can see his beautiful line again. Let's just go to. Let's just go in the. Let's just watch the TV bot for this one, and see how he takes that line as he just came up to, uh, through Radion and now onto the Camel Straight. We got about two DRS zones. I'm not wrong. Into Lacombe, one and two. Takes very much of the curbs. Yeah, it takes a lot of curb uh, on the left one, takes a li lot less on the right one. And then Bruxelles. Don't have to break too early. Oh, and Down uh, second gear. Mali already invalidated, by the way. So he, he has invalidated, but he, there he goes. Look at this. Wow. That, that's actually beautiful to watch. And then stays on the curb. So it's so satisfying. Seven gear. Yeah, it really is satisfying. It, it's, it's like it's millimeter work, if you ask me. As then right behind you have Raquel Lynx, we have, uh, well I'm just gonna call him Lynx, but he is not, he hasn't invalidated, and he's going to Stavolo and then Blanchimar coming up next. 
Electric Blade claiming he took too much curb coming in to the bus stop. Is Still Mali gonna go for another another lap. He is gonna go for another lap. As, I think uh, he didn't see that he, he invalidated. There we go, Lynx puts his car into P1. Beautiful. Dan cross line to get P9. I see Fruitful who has just invalidated. Uh, I'm sorry, improved to a 42 flat. Jamie also improving to a 42. Putting his car into P3. I'm seeing McLaren's coming into the bus stop. Itakuki will be first. Uh, managed to invalidate his slap again because he hasn't set a time. Then we have Rosa who hasn't invalidated. And P7 it is. Is about to start his lap. And so and is Donny, both Mercedes. Is, uh, he just aborted his lap. Oh, that's weird. I think he's gonna let uh, the other Mercedes pass because his teammate has just passed him, in fact. What am I looking he for? He gave up his whole lap, so he has to do another lap. Before. Yeah, true. As IRT, Tom just came through the bus stop. Now crossing the line. Fourth place it is. And Profade is also coming into the bust of Chicane. Oh, oh shit, what's that? Uh, make it an in lap. <laughs> Donamo is now crossing the line in a bit. Uh, we have Molly showing up the line. Uh, Fruitful will be behind that. We've got the cars who have already set a lap uh, about to cross the line right now. We do have. Donny, who could be on a good lap, he's going through pool on right now. Let's just take a look there. Oh, as he brings his car down to the pit path, she came. There he goes. I just, I've seen a lot of invalidations of laps. So um. Yeah, I mean, are you surprised? It, as as people said before, it's it's a tricky track, though. Like, you could spin very easily in yeah. all the curves. You have mm -hmm. to like keep your focus the whole race because like you could be out in any corner. It's uh, yeah, a tricky track. Yeah, it is claimed to be the longest. Well, I wouldn't say the longest race. Uh, maybe in uh, real life or in any way, full distance, it is. But it's by far in, the longest. Uh, Longest track, yeah, definitely by far the longest track. One in minute forties. Um, that's also why we only do twenty-two laps of this. As Matty is the next one to cross the line, uh, exits the bus stop, opens up the DRS, and then it's gonna be P7. a P seven for him. Forty-two five. I think he he. This is his final lap because. Don Ammo has invalidated. Uh, Saucy is on his outlap, which he has also invalidated. Okay, come on Saucy, it's your time to shine. You've got a full lap on the screen right now, so take it and show us what you got as he starts the lap right now. Into the source. Yep. Turn one, takes it nicely. Down to a rouge and radium. Ooh, eat the cookie in the lap. Oh, 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 oh my god! No way! That's scary! Oh, Sheesh. what a fool! Should what watch more happened your... there? My oh. god! And then takes the slipstream of Profodus a little bit. Uh, I, well, I don't think it's Profodus, I think it is. I don't know who the other Williams is. I think it's Lynx. Um, oh, and he almost no, invalidated he with the game. He just... hasn't, he hasn't. Luckily for him. Now, through Brussels. 
What even happened there? I think oh, yeah. Itakuki Ita wanted cookie. to wanted to go to the right to give oh Lynx is taking oh, Lynx oh. is taking the esports line. Oh, oh. That's, that's just that tank too slapper. Oh. Look yeah. at the back end go. My friend. Slip, he's, he's, slip and slide, slip and yeah, slide. Yeah yeah but he saved it. He's trying to make up for the lost time behind the McLaren. Uh, shenanigans down to Rouge. Um, we do have only one and a half minutes left in this session to Blanchima we go. Not yet. We can say it now because here we are at Blanchemont. Yeah, eat the cookie went out of the pits and he uh, he went on the exact race line and he just blocked the whole lap from uh, Soshi. Well, it's actually with curb on the entry. You can see the back end slide, it's, but nothing it's not bad. Best, it's not a good lap. No, it's 10th P place, only P10 definitely not a good lap. Um, I, I think he just lost yeah. all the focus because of the, the, the incident on into a rouge. Yeah, definitely. I mean... I, so it was sketchy, you almost could have crashed. Yeah, it, it was very sketchy. I mean, Itakuki going out of the pits and then probably wanting to move to the left to give all to give the racing line to uh, Sossi, who Sossi has already opted to go on the left because Itakuki was still on the right when he was approaching. And then Itakuki just wants to give the racing line, give, goes to the left, pushes Sossi also to the left and then Let's watch Mali, uh, Mali one more time on this 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 satisfying line. E sports line, as we oh, call it. Oh, it's so uh, nice! I love it. It's beautiful. And then down to seven so gear, almost no braking. Um, Jamie James has retired. I think he spun off the track because yeah, he has spun on the exit of Le Col. Yeah. This is gonna be a poor lap from Mali. I don't know, we we'll see the sector split, he's two tenths up on his time. Ooh, and his teammate has spun here. He has set the purple sector, so maybe, maybe it is. We'll just have to wait and see. He gets a slipstream really nice from uh, his teammate. Oh, that's beautiful. Milan does it really good. It's nice to see, nice to that's see. That's GG's. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. The, the rebels screw the and rest of the field a 141 5 nice. 41 5 yeah. beautiful beautiful team play by the two red bulls milan waiting uh, at the uh, entry of lanchemo to then give him the slipstream going into the bus of chicane is raquel gonna beat it uh, gonna be this I doubt he's gonna be it. He could it. be fruitful. It. He can be fruitful. And he is not oh. going to do so. No. He's he fruitful. He's not gonna be able to improve. He does not have a front wing and he's invalidated. Then, IRT Tom, can he move his car from fifth up another a couple of places? Nope, that's a no, as Seabox does, taking P4. Also, is also... Donamo P10, and that will be the end of qualifying. Fruitful uh, now into the pits and has retired. So we can get on with the lobby. Then uh, our grid rundown for qualifying. Mali on pole with a beautiful 41.5 lap. A little bit of help from his teammate. Fruitful takes second. Raquel, Link, uh, Raquel links third. Seabox fourth. Fifth goes to Jamie. Sixth to Tom. Itakuki seventh. Milan eighth. Mai ninth. Donamo tenth. Eleventh is for Rosa. Twelfth. Saucy. Konzo takes thirteenth. Fourteenth for Danum. Donny fifteenth. Sixteenth. Profodes. Blade on seventeenth. Lumi eighteenth. Nineteenth has Mania. And twentieth is for Wacky Races. Look oh, at that, look at a that. A wet spa, it's just beautiful. so horrendous. Beautiful. No. <laughs> I think it's the opposite of that. It's gonna be a absolute, like, crash and just...
gonna be so much chaos in the in the in the beginning of the race. I don't know. I think these drivers are smart enough to uh, to be careful in the rain. Of course, you're gonna see some drivers trying to make moves. Some of them are gonna work. Some of them are gonna end up in the barrier. Um, that's just how this track goes. Even in the dry, when you make a move, you could end up in a barrier. Visit, make a visit to Barry R. So uh, we wait for the formation but, uh, to start. Do we think people got their wet setup on? Because the 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 most part of the race is. In in the wet actually. Yeah, it will only be dry near the end of the race, so we will go from uh, full wet conditions now on the uh, well, very wet conditions. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mali already spins, no, or he just loses it. But Mali trying to cheese. Ooh, uh, hopefully, he doesn't get disqualified. I think, yeah, he's yeah, he has. just. I think he's the only one on intermediate. Yeah, he is on the inters. So that's Ooh, the that's that, a that's risky that's move. That's an interesting <laughs> fact. Here. He's trying to. He's trying to. Oh. No, he's not the only one on the inters. His teammate Milan also on the inters. Sossi on the inters. Danum on the inters. And Lumi on the inters. The rest are on the full wet. So we are in fact in uh, full wet conditions right now. Uh, the race will start in heavy rain. Then the race will go to intermediate conditions, and then the race will go to dry. So basically, when these things are going to happen, we don't know that. There's only 22 laps, so I don't think it can take that it's long. It's pretty smart, I think. Yeah, it's step. if if I mean if we if what if we just works, saw from Mali, if if the start we just saw from Mali is is a replication of what he's going to do on the actual start, he's not going to be in for a good one. But if he can make if he if he can make it work once it goes on to the interconditions, all these full wet drivers are gonna have to pit unless they want to stay out on the full wets in interconditions, which it it's a possibility to do so. But I mean, I don't see it's why it, it would. It's either gonna uh, take or them there's the next one. Fruitful is also round. Lose them a lot of time, or they're gonna gain towards the the the, the end of the race. Towards that the, the exactly race. that. So. The guys on the inters now, if they can make it work and stay on and stay on top of the game, um, stay focused and make it work, these guys are in prime position because they will not have to pit once we change to inters, meaning they will only have to do a one stop. The full wet will have to stop to inters and then stop to dries. These guys can keep running until it gets to the dries and then yeah have a one stop and go from there of course we're gonna see some safety cars so you might see some tire changes uh, during the safety car losing less time uh, again always I always tend to say we'll have to wait and see but it really is it really do be like that I'm really I'm just excited about the fact that it's fruitful in P2 he's gonna start on the wets and I'm, I'm just I think Mali's gonna get a really bad start because he has cool tires and intermediates. Yeah, but he's gonna have to be very careful. Uh, the thing here is, I'm also curious to see what this is gonna do because we have one guy on pole starting on the heaters, one guy in second starting on the uh, wets. Meaning, which of the two tires is gonna end up being better at this point uh, as we wait for the grid to start? I do have some predictions, meaning Hilly. Uh, I get a comment from Milan saying that's bold. We have fruitful in P1, Milan P2, Matty P3. That's the predictions. Five red rights and away we go. There we go. And Mali has not bottled it like he did oh. in the beginning, but he is losing a lot of places. He's already down to fifth. He's gonna give you down even more. Uh, yeah, he is the Ferrari also taking that P6. So forget oh. it, F Jamie screws oh, up his line. Meaning Mali has now lost out to eat the cookie. Uh, th the Inters are gonna struggle on the at this point in the race. Oh, look at that! Is Seabox gonna go for it already here on links? He pulls out. He wants the inside from the comb, and he gets it. He's ah uh, no, he's not gonna get it. He's he too far out, behind. He and look at that, two McLarens of P4, P6, they just have a Haas in between them. Uh, and look at how how 
bunched up the field together is there no not uh, not that many big gaps everyone's keeping up oh, look at that Neat. the inter guys are really struggling just falling a down. lot in this, in yeah but of course I mean once he, we get to the inter conditions he will not have to pit so he will at least like make up like about 18 to 20 seconds oh look at that Mali he has a little Whoa. bit of a tank slipper there but he's already two he's seconds down the on the, the guy the yeah grid. he's really he, he's controlling the pace of the train now Dan has uh, what am I saying Seabucks also almost losing the rear coming out of the pit flash again Ooh, Dan really uh, struggling I think he might be on a dry setup waiting for it to get dry he's really struggling with traction on, in these forward conditions Let's just have a look at the tires again. Look at where the inters are 20th, 19th, 17th, 15th, and then you have Lucky Molly still in P7 on his, uh, on his inters. Well, Lucky, I mean, the man is, is a great driver, but. Yeah. If, if the call works out, I'd call him a genius as well, but. Yeah. By the looks of it it's right now, it's difficult. not working out at the moment. Tony isn't gonna make the move already, he's just gonna sit there. And I think some people at the back the might have gotten damage. If I see four guys into the pits, possibly four people changes. All the, the intermediate runners are going to the wets because it's really hard, but Mali is gonna stick to the intense, intermediate strategy. And if this is gonna work, it's gonna be in. Oh, it's gonna be so amazing to see. Molly yeah, saying yeah, some words in the chat, uh, Milan saying some words in the chat that I can not pronounce because uh, the <laughs> console speed admins will kill me. Um, but people are doing things to each other, that's why the strategy won't work out. And he ain't wrong, I mean, exactly, if you get screwed by other people, yeah, you're not, you're not gonna get much out of it. But Molly hasn't been screwed so far and he's two seconds down but the guys behind him are not able to overtake him so he, he's, he's not in that but he's not in a bad position p7 and he's gonna make up a lot of time on the pit stop in the pit stop sequence so that's maybe what we should see as well, we Robo have has spun the first one to go round that's Matty. Matty oh that's unfortunate Robo. he started i he don't really think there's any so damage far. though just gets into the grass don't see any damage as well, no visible damage. And we have two trains, we have that train that Molly is uh, leading and then we have a train that Lynx is leading, uh, fruitful 1.2 seconds ahead. Look at that, the two, uh, I think Konzo made a mistake there, I thought he was just letting yeah. Haas through, but he made a mistake and lost out three positions in the meantime, and now he's at the back of the train, with Lumi behind him, uh, if we then go down to the guys uh, that got screwed at the start, we have Milan, who is in fact now on the full width, so he's 18 seconds behind, we have Saucy right on the back of Dan, really at the back but if we go back to the front we have Rosa overtaking Tom into Lacombe well in the braking zone of Lacombe really someone just deleted a moderator just deleted Milan's message I mean one of the admins probably yeah <laughs> unfortunate though unfortunate I believe in uh What's it called in English? I don't know. Being able to uh, say what you want. Say, yeah, being able to uh, free of opinion or something. I don't know. Being able to say your opinion. Um, Someone feels like the McLaren's having to, gonna have a great race. Oh, the McLaren's Jamie are. Jamie Jameson has Mania going side by side into the. I don't know what the corner is called, but they went side by side. Through the piff paff chicane. <laughs> But now has three tens back, Jamie nine tens back. You have the power of the slipstream, although I think this 
to that big of a significance in the width as well or also both of Clarence doing very well at the moment um, don't know what's gonna happen later on anything can happen of course oh Jamie running very deep and look at that Haas is almost pushing him round and oh, Haas has a way better exit he wants it but he can't get past he wants the inside he's gonna go for the inside here there he goes sticks his nose up there and Jamie has to give up that position has to leave the space on the inside. That's a very bold prediction. And Seabrooks goes on the move on Raquel into Lecomte, but he takes the outside line and that's a different line to stick by. He is breaking late and he's oh, going deep. At the front. He, is, he is sticking the move. It's all, but they go side by side. <laughs> oh Almost hit each other. I think that they're not even done yet. We're going down to Bruxelles. Side by side. And oh, look at it's that. Seabooks has Seabooks. the outside line, so you can break later. Oh but my the inside God, no line way. being overpowered. Side by side into the corner with no name. And oh, there, oh. corner with no name. There we go. Stakes P2. And eat the cookie in Raquel's his arse. <laughs> so, oh, and Raquel has a tank step, but eat the cookie has to move out of the way. Yeah. Hit by him. Oh, there's and yellow flag somewhere. Yellow there's flag. yellow flags. That's a Mercedes. Yes. It's Donny. Oh, I think that's damage. Yeah, he there. does not have a front wing anymore, so his race is over. Now, Arty McLaren's gonna pass, uh, gonna pass the uh, Williams of Lynx as well, or not? That's my question because the, both McLarens are really going strong, by the way. Driving behind each other, not interfering with each other, just letting each other do the work. First, he is doing a great job on the on those intermediates. He's not yeah, losing any he's, more time. He's, he's just. I think he actually gained time because I remember him being yeah. two seconds down, and now he's only about one po uh, one second down. So, well, there, that there's no DRS in the rain, but I mean, if we look at the rain, I think it's getting less. The the rainfall, the rain coming down is it's already in a second. I think the intermediates are gonna yeah, I think in around like two three laps, they're gonna <laughs> be like really useful. Yeah, definitely. I think I think the rain is really uh, starting to. Uh, Changed the intermediate conditions already, which is a bit earlier than I expected. But if Mali the game says it's happening, eight then. seconds behind of Puchol, so he's gonna take the lead if they have to pit all. Yeah, definitely. Because these guys will have to pit unless they're crazy enough to take the full wets into the inter conditions and stick them out till the wets, which means Mali has a huge advantage because he will have pace over them, grip and not everything. Um, yeah, on the other hand, if we take, if we go back, let me analyze something, if we go back to the move with Seabox and Lynx, uh, into Brussels, Seabox definitely Oh, no the, way, uh, QRT, Lumi oh. and Konzo going side by side into the left, Oh, they almost touch into the fast left hand, sorry, well, Konzo backs out of it because it's a risky move to stick by, to the outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I'd never go uh, side by side to the pool, on, honestly. And Mali only three tenths behind Tom now into Blanchemar. He is gonna make the move into the bus of chicken for sure. I think that Inters are working really well right yeah, now. Yeah, is Fuchs for gonna pit? I really he think we're definitely. Not gonna pit. I really do think we're definitely at intermediate conditions right now. Look at Mali just. Ooh, but he has a massive Tom. front up, uh, front lock up. Just but Ita Cookie is Cookie is gambling. He's doing it. He's going in for the inters. Has is also going in for the inters. It's a smart move to be honest. Uh, the inters are working really Wacky well. Wacky race right now. is going in for the inters. Yeah, but in the end you lose a lot of time. But if you, even if you stay out on the wets, you're gonna lose time to to Mali because the other guys on the inters are way too far behind. So in these guys who stay out on the wets, the only guy they lose out to it will be Mali. So. Yeah, Mali really making up a lot of time. Also, AG, AJ in the chat saying, coming with both predictions of Jamie 1 2 Jam for McLaren. Hasmania has managed to stay in front of Jamie James. That's pretty nice. Almost 
over half of the grid is now on the intermediate tire so you, the the the, uh, the wet the yeah the wet tires should consider doing the other strategy right now <laughs> look at molly passes stoming is already on the back of rosa <laughs> and Purity, look at him Purity taking a beautiful Rumi line has made a move on Profo uh, profodes into rosa and we got our first and three second oh penalty. my god molly overtaking rosa on the inside of pool oh beautiful beautiful moves um yeah i mean He's even he's taking the, he's taking the esports line in the wet. Uh, I have to admire him uh, for doing so. He's uh, he's doing really great. Wow, um, he's so he's flying. getting so much on Raquel into into Blanchiment. Exactly that. He oh, like we got a... he's flying. Who's gonna stop him? Oh, as Milan, yes, Milan, Milan, Milan at into... the comb. Let's just let's and just take a little look. Mali is yeah, gonna. He doesn't seem Ooh, to be. He moving. was gonna go into the out inside line, but look at that. The outside line. Then goes for it into the pits as uh, Lynx is going for it, Seabux is going for it, Rosa is going for it, Tom, Lumi, I think and at this point we're all going to go for it, has disqualified from the race, no yellow flags, no safety car, uh, let's go look on the tires, uh, Molly and Lumi are going to have a big advantage here, well Lumi not as big because Shrewdville is going to come out not that far behind, but Molly... Yeah. Uh, Mali has a really big gap. Uh, Mali is seven seconds, uh, eight stop. seconds. Is yeah, Ooh, eight seconds. Yeah, I think. I mean, he, it should be enough to like stay in front when the when he's gonna drive up even more. Definitely. I mean, he yeah. he's gonna he has time. Like even if he makes a mistake, he he he's most likely not gonna get overtaken. Depending on how big the uh, setback is on the mistake, of course. But then Ita Kuki. It's, it's really uh, nice to see that that it actually worked. For yeah, now. definitely. Um, also, Ita Kuki being the one to uh, undercut them all, beating uh, a lap earlier. Um, let me tell you, it has worked out. The man is in, uh, well, let's say P4 right now because Mali and Lumi are most likely stretching their tires to the end of the race. Uh, meaning Ita Kuki is in actual P4 while being in front of his teammates uh, before the pit stop sequence. We got ourselves one train on the back of the grid where Kos Doni, Doni is leading the pack. Also one second behind each other but they're really close. James with a three second penalty. He might have tried to take the esports line, I'm not sure about it. As well. it's, it's drying up really fast right now. I think we're gonna see dry compounds in the next five laps. I call it. In lap 13, we're gonna go onto the dry, so Mali is gonna go into the pits as the first one to pit. That's definitely way earlier than I expected. It's welcome everyone really to the stream fly. again. Welcome, welcome. I'm seeing a lot of haze in the chat. Evening, evening. It's not that special right now. It's just all like in gaps of... Why can I not? Three, four seconds. Because Blade taking a few there seconds. We go as well. Oh wait. Profodus on the back of Wacky Races. Look at this. He's going side by side. He wants the position into Lacombe and he get and just moves ahead. And there he is. Taking the position. And Rosa still behind links. Not getting any closer still around that 8 tenth gap. Um I think the, the the smaller gaps are all at the back. There's not much uh, going on yeah. at the front. Wacky Races is close to Profoda still, with a lot more ERS to play than Profoda does. She's burning it a lot. I don't know if uh, Molly has made a mistake or not, but he has lost about 
about a second to Lumi over the course of uh, when the pit stops happened. Because when the pit stops happened, he was about 8 seconds down, and now he's about 6.8 to 7 seconds down, so... Fruitfulman sets the fastest lap. He's pushing, he wants Lumi, he wants that P2. Then maybe he's gonna push for P1 if he if he can manage to get it done. We have Saucy on the back of Don Amo and then Dam behind that. And then there's also a small little train with wacky races, Profodus, and then a little bit up ahead there's Blade. Rosa not managing to get closer to Raquel, it's really difficult in these wet conditions to overtake. It takes a lot of pace, it takes a lot of skill and more pace. The pace is quite equal to each other. Exciting race as of yet, but we're gonna see a soon change of tires to the dry compound. Mm -hmm. So and then that's gonna make it interesting. Then we're also gonna see uh, the guys who opted to uh, have a wet setup and the guys who opted to have a dry setup. Uh, we're definitely gonna see that come into play because the guys are, who are fast now on their wet setup are not gonna be as fast on the dry uh, on the dries, which I think we're gonna be able to see the difference. There's not there's not that much to look at. You can switch between between cars driving close to each other here and there, but they're all about five to one five tenths to one second behind each other. So yeah, I, the gaps are just too big to to make a move on on the car ahead. As there's a safety car and that's Dan and he has retired. He has had to give up his race and yeah, we're not gonna be able to see. This is not gonna be a safety car. Yeah, every Most car has passed, so I doubt it will be. He's just gonna despawn. Yeah, also, no safety car yet. It That's do be yet. a surprise. We have two, uh, two DNFs. Yeah, we have two DNFs, but no safety car. I mean, it's a real surprise that we haven't had a safety car yet. We need Spa in the wet. And Cross Profotus is closing up to Eagle's Blade. Is he gonna go into the inside of the comp? And he is, but. Blade oh, he has to really late and just defend it really Look at that, well. look at that, he's gonna drive and switch back or not, no, he doesn't get a good run through there. Chad's gonna stick behind, yeah, he's gonna have to stick behind through Brazil. Uh, he's too far away from uh, Blade right now. Mm, and look at what this has done, this has, uh, this has allowed wacky races to catch up. So this is now a three car battle. So Profotus has to watch in front of him and he has to defend yeah, yeah. from wacky races to, as well. He has to defend the Mercedes from wacky races in front and he wants to attack the uh, Haas of Blade in front. So it's, it's make a choice or either do both. Defend by attacking. Isn't there a saying uh, like uh, attack is the best defense or something? Yeah, uh, no, offense is the best defense. Well, I mean, attack, offense, same thing, right? Yeah, it is the same thing, but yeah. I think it's from Cobra Kai or something like that. Uh, could be, I don't know where, where it's from. I don't know where it's from, but it is actually sometimes true to like, like attack first and then. Mindset where you get it. And then Rosa, five tenths on the back of Lynx, three tenths now. Are you gonna do anything? Camel straight. Are you doing anything or are you staying behind? Two tenths now, I think he's staying behind. He's, he's too far away. Pulled he's out. Far away. Profotus, 
you're gonna make a move again this lap, just like you did last lap, or is it also a no-go? Really Students, yeah, the back he is, of play. he's pushing, yeah, he has the ERS really. done, and look at that, the it's gonna go past, wow. oh, look at that, he's pushing PG. Position in front of Eagle's Blade, nice move, look at that, and now he has clear out in front to push to the other house. Rosa is gonna make a move really soon. He is closer than ever on Raquel this time. We're just gonna watch. See. Uh, Raquel picks up a three second penalty. Penalties. Raquel has three seconds. Rosa has three seconds. Jemmy, uh, Blade, Wacky races. Matty, Costono, Sosi also got three seconds. Basically, yeah. everyone with penalties is on three seconds. Yep. <laughs> Let's yeah. just look at the big winners. Look at Lumi. 16 oh, places gained. Oh, oh Rosa. 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 With a massive, massive thank slap round. Yeah. He managed to save it, so I mean, he's now he lost five tens, but he hasn't lost his front wing, so that's a win. <laughs> it was a close one. But now he has half the main and yeah, Jamie. Yeah. 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 Look at that, he just suddenly all the way on the left of the track when cars are behind him. My prediction is wrong. I think it's it's, it's still raining. The, the, the ooh, it's still raining. Yeah, I think we're gonna pit like towards the end of the race. Yeah, definitely. It's we're gonna, gonna take see it. some to some laps still because I it's think still we're gonna see it happening. I think we're gonna see the crossover point near lap 17, 18, maybe. If if there, if it will be even before the end of the race, of course. I think so. I ho I hope for the people so. Then they have a chance to come back at the QRT, the Quest Racing Team. I think it is. Because the QRT is now in the lead. Mali and Lumi are. Yeah, QRT is going to be very happy with their drivers, both of the guys on the podium, making it a 1 2 for the organization. Making it a Red Bull on first and a Alpine in second. But nevertheless, different cars doesn't matter for the organization. They're going to be happy with the result. And Jamie James is closing up on Blanchema into Hasmania. So is Blade on performance, but he has lost the tent going into Blanchema. Jamie is on the bus stop behind Haas, as you mentioned. And Rosa has managed to get back up to the back of the links, meaning. So when Rosa gets into clean air, he's managing to lap faster than Lynx, but when he gets behind Lynx and has to deal with the dirty air, he's struggling and he can't get past. That, that's what I'm seeing right now. Dirty air is really difficult to like, work with. Yeah, definitely. Especially on Spa. Jamie still not doing anything. Is Blade gonna make a move on Portfolios on the Camel Straight? Rosa. I think he's too far away. Rosa he's seeming to be away. very, very close on the back of uh, Lynx. Well, at least going into Lacombe, but now coming out of Lacombe, the gap went back up to 5 tenths. And I, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, guys, something must happen. Kind of yeah, getting bored it's, here, it's you know. <laughs> <coughs> Just even if it's a safety car, you know, it's oh. it's something. Bunches up the field again, so we might get some action. But we haven't seen a safety car yet, so that's also always nice. Zero safety cars. Possibly. Imagine. On a wet spot? What? On a wet spot? Imagine, it's, it's, it's almost impossible to not have a safety car 
on the wet spot, it's just so. It's almost impossible to have. It's almost impossible to not have a safety car on a dry spot. So I mean. <laughs> exactly. But of course, these guys, E1, the best of the best in the league. Um, so if anyone's gonna do it, it's these guys. But we still have about eight laps to go. I think the tire wear of Mali is, is gonna, he's gonna struggle towards the end of this of his team because he has 30 laps of intermediates. Okay, you know what? Those I'm just gonna. Up. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pull up Taz and I'm gonna check the tire wear on him. So I'm, I'm pretty curious what his tire wear is right now. James is really closing up to his mania. Hopefully, we're gonna see a move on his mania into the bus stop chicane. Molly, what is your tire wear on? Let me see it. Yeah, Jamie James is really closing up to his mania. He's on the back of his mania. Is he gonna dive into the inside? No, he doesn't. He stays behind into the bus of shit cane. There it is, tire wear for Mali. It's not showing. God damn it. Mm, I don't think he's gonna show us. Unfortunate, unfortunate, but if we look at if we look at Lumi's tire right now, it's around the front left is on uh, fifty percent, uh, while the front right is on forty five, and then the both beer tires are on forty two percent. It's uh, in the spa in the rain. It's like. It's just impossible to overtake because even if you're like three tenths behind someone on the camel straight, you're just not closing enough up to just make the move on someone. So mm -hmm. it's we, we don't see any moves because it's like there's no speed to there's no over speed. Yeah, honestly, don't really know what to say. We can. I mean, we can keep talking about it. It stopped raining so far. I think it stopped raining. I, I st I'm still uh, seeing the rain pouring down, so. Ooh, we see. <laughs> I think it's. Maybe it's not gonna dry up. Imagine. Maybe it isn't, maybe it isn't. But could you do like 20? Marley with the fastest lap on 15 laps of intermediates. That's like. Wow. I think Jimmy James is gonna make the move from Hashmania into the bus sub chicane. This lap, he's yeah, gonna take the goes. inside line. But he it has the outside for the left. Strong. He has the outside for the, the other switch one. Back. The switch back, maybe. Open the ERS now. No, he's not gonna use his ERS for this one. He doesn't see it happening anymore. That's unfortunate. He didn't, he didn't take the speed into the bus that she came from. Yeah. Also didn't have the best exit out of the bus of Chicane, which allowed uh, Haas to maintain his position. We've got all the penalties in the meantime. Uh, six seconds for Saucy, six seconds for JV, and then the rest are also on, all, all on three seconds still. Uh, look at Jamie now, he must be using ERS. Uh, I don't know if he used any. But, uh, he close up. Closed up to two tenths of the camel straight, so he's definitely running more straight line speed. I think it might be a dry setup for uh, Jamie. Um, yeah, meaning 
that might explain why he's losing so much time in the corners. I think this is about the closest battle in track. We also have Wacky Races and Blade. If we want to go take a look over there, we could. Coming down to the corner with no name right now, but then uh, also moving down to pool. Lecom being the highest uh, part of the track, and from there on, you, have, you go down to the main straight and the source being the lowest point of the track. So far, I think Mali is doing real, a really great job on the get, keeping care of these, nursing his intermediates towards the end because I don't think it's gonna dry up it's only it, five it, laps left it doesn't look like it's gonna dry before it, the end of the race or it might he's just still gaining on, on Lumi and, and Fruitful so I mean if we look at the skies the skies are like blue so the rain could just stop at any moment but any then moment. we'll have to wait for the track to dry of course and then we can go on to those uh, me, uh, to the softs obviously I think it's gonna be uh, like a risk the last two or one lap is gonna be dry and people are gonna have to make a really difficult choice of staying on the intermediates for track position or going on those uh, dry compounds and trying to, I don't know, yeah, but you, you're losing so much like track position to people, so you know, it's Hilly. really a dilemma to, to choose. Yeah, well, Hilly, you know, everyone is just extra careful in the rain um, because they don't want to spin by their own mistakes and then they don't want to spin by others so they're always taking it more careful than when in the dry because in the dry you see a lot of you see more of these half hearted moves where you start a move on on the car ahead but then in the middle of the move you're like this isn't gonna work out and then some weird stuff happens which in the rain you don't have these kind of situations where because in the rain it's always either you go for it or you don't because you don't want to risk you don't want to take that many risks in the rain it's really difficult to close up the gap from five seconds uh, five tenths sorry mm -hmm. this fruitful uh, really he, he was gaining on Lumi but now he can't seem to get past Jamie is just gaining on Hasmania into Blanchemar, on Blanchemar, and just losing it all again on the on the Russian variant on the Camel Straight. I don't know what it is, but he, he, he just can't see, see to make a move on yeah, Hasmania. Yeah, Jamie, if, yeah, that's what we're talking about. He he has a lot of straight line speed, so on the Camel Straight, he's flying and he gets, the, he gets the gap down to like two tenths, but then then the corner sequence begins, the downhill to Lecombe, Brussel, uh, Poole. I think he's gonna do it right now, he's really close, three tenths on Hasmania. No, he's not close enough, he's not gonna yeah, make it before the braking zone. Nah. If he was closer, because he was using ERS, if he was closer he could have made it. Also, you know what's also a uh, nice feature about having the brain until the end? The fact that it's raining means Mali and Lumi are not forced to make a mandatory pit stop, meaning they could literally finish the race on these 22 hour lap meters. It's, they're gonna struggle a lot. Mali's gonna struggle in the beginning and the end of the race. It's just, yeah. I, I mean, I if, think there's if gonna be no grip, so the, the, the car is really hard to. To be honest, uh, when I checked, well, let me go check again, I, I can't see Molly's uh, tire wear unfortunately, but I can see Lumi's. Lumi's tire wear is uh, around, he, well his front left is the tire who has the most uh, of its, uh, who has to do the most work and it's at 63%, then the front right is at 70, uh, at 57% and then the, oh, the both rear tires are at 52%, so it's not that it's not that it's bad got, except for the front be, tires. Um, it's gonna be in the, the puncture territory towards the end. Definitely because it's gonna be lap twenty one, lap twenty two are gonna be very careful for him and if Molly's in the if Molly's in the same situation, he's also gonna be have to be careful uh, on the uh, next couple of laps. 
But where did where did Lumi start on? With grid, grid position did he start on? I don't know, but he has made up a lot of positions. I think he made up 12 positions. Uh, no, 16 positions, meaning I think that's 18 he started. I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah. A 18, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that that's great to be honest. That, that's it's a pretty boring race to be honest right now. I mean, it was exciting at some point, but he <laughs> had really has dialed down. But Matt, he's pretty really boring right now. close to wacky races now. Mm -hmm. into re into ready on all the... Tall, manny. Camo straight. Really using all Mickey's of the track. Mickey's gonna make the move right now, hopefully. And we have some action. Wacky races is... He has to go for the side outside line. because Wacky races doesn't want to give that up. He wants Ooh, the inside. Matty breaks deep. Matty goes for it. He takes, the, he takes the outside. He takes the space he gets from Wacky Races, meaning the outside line, and then he has the inside line for the left corner, and he just takes the position. Beautiful scene. Nice here. move. Nice move. Really nice move to see. Also, a really good point pointing out in the chat: Has Mania being an EU3 driver definitely having a good race? Feel offending of uh, Jamie who dominated EU2 last season. Uh, yeah, that's a stellar performance if you ask me. And now Wacky Races is also getting overtaken by Gonzo. Uh, yeah, Hasmania is fortunately in the life of thing. No, uh, <coughs> okay, we also yeah, are in the P6. We have a yellow flag, that's Donny, Donny coming yeah. on the exit of Pool. Has he gotten any damage? Uh, if so, he's probably gonna retire because it's only two, two, uh, three laps remaining, and <coughs> I don't think there's gonna be a safe car out. And it's just so Rosa then three tenths yeah. behind. This is his chance now. That ER is all oh, looking at. Yeah, he's burning it. He's burning all of the ERs. By the way, it has stopped raining lap 20 so we'll have like this lap for the track to dry yes. and then another no. lap uh -huh. oh he doesn't oh, make it and jamie, jamie has jamie. Ooh, oh look at it's that it's a touche it's a touche no has has, no. has to does he does he have damage has had to go off the track let me check if he has any damage has made damage he doesn't have any damage but jamie has a six second Time penalty and uh, Rosa and Raquel as well. So Hasmania is still in the position to like make some places, go up some places. Hey, kitten, you know that what you just pointed out really it's really annoying. You know, why couldn't the EU3 race be wet? You know, I mean, I wouldn't have spun it, I wouldn't have spun if it was wet. It looks like Mali and are gonna take the podium. Really, yeah. Uh, I mean, there's no. Oh, and we got a. The other flag, that's Donny at the top of Radio. And also, Matty Oh Robo no, Matty has spun! No, Matty had, had a great race, but he has six second penalty. He couldn't keep and Donny it has retired on track. That's that dangerous. Nah, lap 20 out of 22, that's not gonna be safe car anymore. Nice try, we will have a race without safety cars. Nice. Yeah. Ro Rosa is really close to the back of Raquel. Is he gonna... He has to make a move right now. It's now or nothing. Because he is only three times behind Raquel. <laughs> I think he's gonna make the move right now. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, let's look at Rosa and then I'll answer your question, kitten. Yeah, there he goes. Takes the outside line. Just like Matty did, is he gonna make? The, is he gonna be able to make the same move? What is this camera angle I'm getting? Nope. Late defensive position. Little. Look at that. Now the track is drying. Lap 22 will be a kind of dry track. So these inters, I mean, these inters are gonna get extra wear. And if you look at Lumi and Molly, the inters on a dry Damn. track. This is really looking bad. They might get a puncture on this last lap. Imagine if that happens, uh, it would just be like, oh, the arrest has been enabled. That's gonna, oh, the last lap is gonna be such chaos. Damn. The no last way. lap, I, I'm, I don't know Ooh. what, yeah, the, the battle Mal, I don't know, uh, Mali and Lumi, like, are the tires gonna 
be able to do one full lap while being inside punctured territory so, on a dry track. Really close to fruitful. There's another yellow flag that's uh, the map, yeah, I think. Yeah. We had the, the, the little train, Raquel, Rosa and Jemmy who were, were really close to each other, so that's gonna be a close call. And then we have Into Cookie almost within the second of Fruitful. Fruitful is pushing though. Oh, it's gonna be such an interesting last lap. Yeah, Rosa, wa Rosa, Rosa really wants that position and Jamie has gotten himself into the mix as well. Look at the track, the track really is dry right now, so I mean, let me just take a look. I don't think Lumi has a puncture, I don't think Mali has a puncture yet, not yet, not yet. If we go back to Rosa, because here we go on the camel street. Look at that DRS, Jamie is also going to enjoy that. Look at that, he oh, goes for the takes inside. The inside line. Oh, he, he goes into... No! He ruins his own race. That's really, he is nine seconds now. But Lynx... Oh, he, he ruins Raquel's Rosa race. No, they also takes he almost clips his wing. Show us Molly's tires. You want to see Molly's tires? There, there you go. You want to see the tires on the telemetry? There you go. 21 laps. He's on. He was on these tires from the start of the race. Oh, but Jamie almost clipped Raquel's wing, but it's... It's a sketchy one. But Rosa has six seconds. Jamie has nine seconds. Oh, I mean, Raquel they six managed. Six seconds. So, Hasmania is gonna take P6 in this race. Look at this. Molly is going through the bus stop right now. They managed to make the, their inters go 22 laps without a puncture. Even with the last lap being completely dry. And there it is. Lumi. Uh, I'm sorry. Molly takes the win. Here at Spa, and then Lumi takes P2 with Fruitful oh, behind Fruitful him. Oh, Fruitful has 13 seconds penalty. What? It must have been because he just cut the bust of chicane at the end of the race. That uh, wait, 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 wait. We need to let, let some some more help. I think he got 13 second penalty. <laughs> That's and because that means Itakuki has a podium. That's because well, Hilly is saying fruitful uh, puncture at the end. If we go take a look at his Whoa, car, can we get a replay on that? That's so. He has he cut the but he cut the bust of chicane. Uh, yeah, he does look like he has a puncture. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course he's yeah, uh, yeah, he's he right. He's really tire. right uh, yeah. tire. Yeah. Oh, so that's really unfortunate. He did get that puncture there. E5. He still got P5, but he had cut the bust of chicane, giving him a penalty right at the end. He could have had P3. Um, to answer your question, Kitten, it's Bruxelles. Just just for the record, Bruxelles is how you say Brussels. Um, and also, Healy and AJ, tell me about it, man. Rain was pouring down today at school. Not even kidding. Like, for so much wind and everything like i was squeezed up against i was i squeezed myself up against the door to kind of stay out of the rain and then when and then when it the rain dialed down a bit i went i made a run for it and got inside the school like it was i don't know man let's let's not forget hasmania had an amazing race P6. definitely p6 well done wow. for an eu3 driver really nice. here he shouldn't be in E3, he should be in E3. In yeah, I, I, I think, first. I mean, I know, is P6 in E1, it, I mean, it's also... It's a really it, good drive, he, he it, managed It's a really good drive, but yeah. I mean, he had the if, you do this, if you do it one time, I don't think he should be in E1 drive. I think he's good for E2, though, in my opinion. True, 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 true. <laughs> but that's really unfortunate. What? How did it even happen? Like, Fruitful had a... Puncture, but on the 50 laps of intermediates, but Lumi and Mali didn't got any puncture. This is a question. Two laps. Do you do you uh, have do you have the uh, the uh, the Twitch chat open? Yes. <laughs> watch uh, watch out, Healy's last uh, <laughs> Healy's last uh, message. <laughs> Apparently, he <laughs> lost my stories. Well, I mean. If you love if you love what I do, then that probably shows I'm a good commentator, I guess. I mean, or am I wrong? 
if the if the if the viewers like me then I'm doing something good we got Mali MP1 Lumi MP2 and Eater Cookie MP3 nice Eater Cookie I didn't expect him to be on the podium though I know he just managed to like stay in P4 the whole race and just closed up the gap to Footfall and we got Okay, so wait, let me just check. And then there we go. Another great rundown for the race this time. Mali takes P1, QRT Lumi takes P2. QRT gonna be very happy, happy organization, happy, happy joy joy. Uh, third place for Ita Cookie. Seabucks takes fourth, fruitful fifth, six goes to Hasmania. Uh, Lynx takes seventh, eight for Jamie, ninth for Rosa. Tom takes tenth, Konzo eleventh, Profodus twelfth, thirteen goes to Blade, fourteenth, Wacky Race, fifteen, Don Amos, sixteen, Matty Robo Saucy takes seventeen, eighteen for Donny. 19th for Dan and Milan taking 20th. And that's one. That's, that's two. And that's three. Exactly. So I don't Should only just you start up. Give me just one second. Oh, yeah. They're not gonna press ready, I guess. I can't leave the screen. Hello? Hmm? Can we please move away from the leaderboards? <laughs> First of all, congratulations, guys, on the on the P1, P2, and P3. Yep, definitely. Um, yeah, as I can't really leave the screen at the moment, so let's just start with our uh, with our third place then at this race today. Eat a cookie. Uh, having uh, st I can't remember where you start exactly, but P3 must be happy. Also, I had P1 previously this season. Another podium in the bag. How are you feeling? Yeah, it was good. Uh, I don't know how these two managed to keep the tyres going till the end because mine were on the ropes and I pitted at like lap seven or eight. So that was, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I felt good in the wet. And yeah, yeah I'm taking a P1 there because I'm, I'm, I'm not happy with their tyres. <laughs> There's something going on with their tyres that yeah. need checking. <laughs> Let's call it magic for now. So then, talk us through your race for now. Like, how how was it? What happened? And uh, uh, well, I, yeah, I messed up quali. Started, oh. I think P P eight when really, I think P7. second place, P seven. So I think second place should have been well, very doable. Oh. Um, but then, yeah, just keeping it on the track, keeping consistent, staying within three seconds of fruit. Just in case he had a penalty, which he, I think he got a puncture at the end, which caused him to cut the corner. So yeah, yeah happy days really. <laughs> it all went right. It did. It definitely did. Um, well, it must be delighted with this third place, as mentioned before. Next week we'll go to Hungary. Do you think you're gonna score some points there as well, or? Uh, we'll, we'll find out. Everyone's quick in this tier, so especially these two. That's so. Not. We'll, we'll see. Hopefully, I can stick <laughs> with these two next time. That's not a bad analysis. Everyone's quick in here. Yeah, that that's true. Then let me move on to the next car, uh, the next driver in line, meaning Lumi taking second place. Um, also, congratulations, qualifying 18th, making up 16 positions. Really on the perfect strategy uh starting on the inters and actually making them go till the end because the rain obviously doesn't force you to make a mandatory pit stop so how's it feeling yeah i mean it feels good in qualifying i i, I had to retire at the beginning i started 18 and put the inters on gambled made a few positions at start and then when everyone pitted the opportunity was there i had uh, fruitful and eat the cookie behind me going quickly and I just knew I had to push it at the end was on rails I was on 80% on the front left I was scared of Whoa. <laughs> yeah yeah we were 80%. we were keeping an eye on the uh, on the tires on the tire wear and your tires didn't seem that didn't see didn't seem that well so but mm. you managed to pull it off so yeah thank you <laughs> it worked out it was intense so basically yeah. that like 
pretty much that how the race went. Because fruitful, he pitted really uh, much later than you guys, and he got a puncture with like I think 16 laps old intermediate. So that's pretty weird how he got a puncture. You guys didn't. I so mean, that's, uh, congrats on the on the tire management. Really definitely, good. yeah. Thank you, thank you. Also, same question. Hungary next week. What are we feeling with that? Uh, I know, as either Cookie said, everyone's quick here. And you never know who could win. And it's going to be a tight race. One one overtaken opportunity, I believe, or two. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a very narrow track, and we'll see. Yeah. We'll see it's hard to overtake there, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we say uh, it's it's a very fast tier. It definitely is, but and we don't know who can. We don't know who's gonna win. Uh, that's also true. But if I had to put my money on someone, it's Molly, who took P1 today again. Uh, I, I, I don't even know how many f wins she got this season. I think almost all of them. Not. I don't know which ones you didn't get, but here we are again, starting pole having a bad start and then still managing to end up in P1 without a, without a puncture on 22 lap old inters just talk us through it uh, well I don't know if you guys caught it but my quality wasn't the greatest apart from my last lap uh, because my first run I nearly binned it into the wall at the end of sector 2 but um, yeah I, I nearly um, I invalidated my second run as well, which was a 41.6. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. I saw that. That was a, a really fast, like lap, but you, you unfortunately invalidated. Yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe, exactly. maybe there's a reason for the invalidation. You know, a 41.6 invalidated pieces falling together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and yeah, my last run came came together. Milan gave me a nice nice little slipstream on the on the back straight in second three. Yeah, we saw three, that. So. It was saw a really that, yeah. nice teamwork there. It was uh, yeah. Nice I, mean, I mean, Milan's a great teammate, so yeah. uh, I can't say anything more about him. He really, he uh, really gave it up because he ended up qualifying P tenth uh, for that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, he's a great teammate, so nothing more there. But yeah. on the rest, I had a <laughs> dreadful formation lap. Um, <laughs> I, ju I just spun it because I wanted to check the grip levels, and it, I was just trying to weave a little, and then I, I just revved the rear tires a little bit, and I just went off. And then I was trying to let all the cars go past before I went back onto the track in case I didn't ghost. Uh, but yeah, then I got disqualified, and then you know, 50, 56 degree rear tires are not not ideal. So, <laughs> I, so I lost can, positions. So I think it's safe <laughs> to say grip levels not good. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I, I was just holding out because I uh, at one point I was kind of gaining on a, a Mercedes behind me. I can't remember who it was, but at that point I knew like I had the pace to just you know maintain the gap in front of me and behind me, and then. As soon as light rain started coming, it wasn't heavy rain anymore, and then the wet started to go off. So I knew I kind of like all I had to do was just keep it on track, I guess, because either the wet runners stay out and then lose a bunch of time, or you know, or they pit and end up a pit stop behind me. So you know, just keep it on the track at that point. Yeah. Yeah. On the first uh, few laps, you were struggling really hard, but uh, take us through the, the last few laps on, of your race because, of course, the tire wear. Uh, to be fair, I, I think it was like around like lap 18 or, or 19 where I realized I didn't, I wasn't struggling on tire wear because in the first thing I, I knew that I had, well, not in the first thing, but in the first opening laps, I guess, I tried to save my tires as much as possible because there wasn't a point of me pushing and then ending up not overtaking the wet guys or the guys on the wet tires. So I just saved my tires uh, in the first few opening laps and then I used them in the middle and then in the end. Oh, nice. I mean, yeah, I mean very well done is all I can say um, then again same question for you hungry next week gonna gonna win another one or uh... Uh, time will tell time will tell I can't really say I win it or, or, or I won't because you know like all three of us have said so far or all of us in this party everybody's fast here so you never know what's gonna happen true but as I've said I put my money on you <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I appreciate that. <laughs> the, I mean, come on, the amount of times you've won, uh, it's, I think it's a safe bet. Um, but then again, 
I thank you for this uh, for this great race um, while it lasted because uh, we had some boring moments as well. And then I thank everyone coming out to the stream uh, for watching. And we will be back on Monday for EU4 at 9 p.m. UK time in Hungary. And there will be Dan and Matty to uh, welcome you there. And thanks for watching again.